Samsung may have just unveiled the Galaxy S22 series as well as a new set of Tab S8 tablets, but the company still has more products to show. At MWC 2022, Samsung's unveiling a new lineup of laptops. They're called the Galaxy Book 2, and there are several different configurations available, so bear with me as I explain them all. At the highest end, there is the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. This is a convertible that has higher end specs and is available in 13 and 15 inch models. Then there's the Galaxy Book 2 Pro followed by the Galaxy Book 2 360. And as their names suggest, the 360 is a convertible whereas the Pro is more of a traditional clamshell. Although we're not in Barcelona, I was able to check out some of these units here at a hands-on event in New York. And honestly, I'm really impressed. I've always liked the Galaxy Book line of laptops. I think Samsung deserves more recognition as a laptop maker. They've been thin and light with sumptuous displays. The Galaxy Book 2 takes that silhouette to a different level. The Galaxy Book 2 Pro in particular was very, very light. The 13 inch model that I had more time with cuts a very sleek profile and was very easy to just use with one hand holding the machine and the other hand typing. But of course, I spent more time with the highest end version, the Pro 360. And it's available in three colors. As we have come to expect from Samsung devices, the display on this machine is just gorgeous. This is a AMOLED display. Again, at 13 and 15 inch options, they all run at 1080p resolutions. But as an upgrade this year, this series can hit up to 500 nits of brightness, making them easier to read in different lighting conditions. I didn't spend a lot of time typing on these machines, but there was also a very amply spaced keyboard, especially on the 15 inch models, which even had room to accommodate a numpad. And as I've mentioned before in my earlier coverage of some other Samsung laptops, the trackpad here is positively gigantic. And again, as is the case with a lot of Samsung devices, the Pro 360 supports the S Pen and in fact comes with a stylus in the box. The Galaxy Book 2 360 is the other one in this series that supports the stylus input as well because of its Super AMOLED touchscreen. And since the Pro is a clamshell model and only has an AMOLED screen that's not touch enabled, it doesn't work with the stylus. One new thing we were able to try is Samsung's second screen software that allows you to turn a Tab S8 tablet into an external monitor for your laptop. I was able to go into the settings shade, enable second screen mode, and then connect the laptop and the Android tablet. I chose to extend the uh, Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 screen over to the Tab S8. And it was kind of odd to see a Windows interface on what's usually an Android tablet, but it worked. If there was some latency issues uh, here, I'm gonna just chalk that down to maybe this being a pre-production unit or an early sample, but this would be something that would be fun to try out when we get a review unit. Samsung's also upgraded the webcams on the Galaxy Book 2 series, and these are 1080p uh, sensors, so you can look better because video calls are just so much more important nowadays, I guess. As is the case with most laptops launching this year, the Galaxy Book 2 series also come equipped with Intel's 12th generation core processors. You've got i5 and i7 options, as well as Windows 11 installed. With such thin profiles, it'll be interesting to see how these machines perform and whether they can manage heat well. For that and other real world use, uh, we really have to get a review unit in for testing before we can say for sure. I also spent some time with the Galaxy Book 2 360, and while it's a little bit heavier than the Galaxy Book 2 Pro, it was as easy to maneuver with just one hand. And it's also powered by Intel's 12th generation core processors, as is the rest of the lineup. If these machines intrigue you already, you can already pre-order them come March 18th, and they'll be available on April 1st. The Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, that's a mouthful of a name, will be available from $1,250 onwards. But like I said before, you should wait until we are able to fully test this thing out in the real world, so hang on for our full review. For that and more coverage out of MWC 2022, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.